in Germany. We have a saying. Good things take time. And good things will come. 29th of August. Boys, I'm bringing back the Hoi 4 mod review. I already kind of made uh, this thing where I want to, over the weeks, rate the mods in my personal opinion. Kaiserreich still rank 1. Thousand Greg, very, very good. Still very undone and red flood. At the moment, a great mod, but unfortunately on uh, rank number 3. A lot of people say Old World Blues. I think Old World Blues. Uh, back when Old World Blues came out, everybody was so fucking crazy about it. Once again, it might be an amazing mod. I just personally am truly not a Fallout guy. And to me... The meme is like, let, let, let me do a zoomer meme for all you kids. The meme will be, so I, I'm representing Fallout right now. And now a uh, Skyrim. Fallout is just the little less intelligent brother of Skyrim. And let's say the Elder Scrolls. The Elder Scrolls is just so much better. There's different starts or is it just where you want to start? Because Texas and Mexico is still here. This is much bigger than back in the day. This uh, When I played this mod many, many years ago, it wasn't even close to this big. I, I didn't learn much. I know the Caesar's Legion is important. The NCR is important. The Brotherhood is really important. For sure. What are you guys into? The cohort is winning, eh? I don't know much about the lore. I know that after the apocalypse, Caesar's Legion was made. Like, this guy is calling himself Caesar, and he made the Savage Legion. They're mostly melees, right? That is uh, terrorizing everybody and wants to kill everybody. You guys said the most badass character in Fallout, and the really cool focus tree slash storyline is Mr. Lanius. Gentlemen, let's go in. Welcome to Fallout in Hoi 4, the old old blues. Four months ago, Caesar summoned Lanius to appear within his tent, settled at Flagstaff. There, he gave an important order to the renowned legate. I need you to take Dark City. I'm going to need the wealth that Denver has to offer if I'm to cross the Colorado and take the dam. Yes, I remember. It was all about a dam. Uh, I'm going to entrust you with a handful of cohorts and trust that in five years you will accomplish this mission. Take any longer and I'm going to consider you failure and mark you for death as anyone who has failed me will. Caesar's given Lanius a direct order to conquer Dark City and return before January 1st, 20, 2280. If the day passes, I'm a traitor and I'm fucked. Lanius's death lines. Okay, let's take a look here. Oh god. Here we have a bunch of guns. I wonder how you will how that matters. You also have dogs, these zombie dogs. You have the Dutch tank divisions here at first. Salvage motorcycle, cars, wasteland cars, a military car. This is beautifully made, man. Whoever made this, this is very well made with a lot of love. And you even have tanks in the end. You have robotics, riot control, okay. You have land doctrines, armored warfare, refined warfare, conventional and asymmetric. Dude, everything has its own picture, man. That, that always shows you mod is good. When the devs look at everything has a picture, man. They really gave a fuck. Specialized doctrine. You have air. <laughs> Glider. This is fucking beautiful. You have balloons. Little planes. That is beautifully made, man. Really nice. Navy. <laughs> Can do. Trireme. The fucking old Viking thing. The fucking old Viking thing. Your faction is anti-tech. The Legion has very low technology. Okay, well, let's play without it. They have even... Voice over? True to Kaiser. Wow, dude, that is impressive as hell. That's impressive as hell, man. Legion denarius. You get 22k per quarter. So the Legion has its own dinars? Liberty, which is militia. What does it what do you have in this game? You have militia, demolitions, fire teams, and infantry. And mobile platoons to chariot. Okay, I get that. I get that. Now, what the hell is going on here? Manage the Legion Denarius economy through these decisions. Oh, in the end, that pretty much means you can use money for little bonuses. That's kind of what's going on. I think I understand. Oh, you have agencies, diplomacy, trade. This is really well made. You have water, energy, scrap metal. Now, this 
this is lovely done, lovely done. I feel kind of sad that I'm not so much in the lore, because this seems just amazing. I still don't understand the difference between automatic weapons and mini weaponry. And why would I need a trained mongrel? Why would I need support? I have so many questions. Dude, I'm taking refined warfare. This makes your soldiers really strong. I'm going with refined warfare, man. Defensive hot points and fire movement. Yes, training takes longer, but you get very good bonuses. I'm taking that, I'm taking that. Now, let's take a look at the symbols, everything. I love the layout, man. The layout is really, really great. Let's take a look here at our focus, which also looks very, very lovely. Holy what? God damn, so far I am completely in awe of this mod. He's intelligent and strong. I don't have any command power, so I shouldn't be able to take anything. Let's take a look at that later. Yeah, they remade the, the RPG tree, which no mod ever does. Beautiful, man. I'm kind of the banana yellow faction. Okay, gentlemen, let's play the game. Lanius was the greatest warrior of the Hydebox, one of the greatest foes to leave face. Or he was born a slave, whose natural talents let him become a legionary at the age of 12. Who knows? It is true that he slaughtered all the males of his tribe. Who knows? Or were they assimilated into the legion? Only Caesar and Lanius know for sure, and they aren't talking. What is undeniable is that Lanius is among the greatest leaders of the legion. Some call him a savage brute, but there may be more to the man behind the mask, and they know. Commanding officer, whatever. Oh, I can choose what- that is so cool. I can choose what he gets. Some wonder whether he's smarter than Caesar himself. Lanius the Field Marshal. And he got intelligent. Well, he got also lots of other stuff. Oh my god. He is insane. Lanius had to choose who to bring him, to bring with him east. Some set the strongest skilled with firearms, some set a horde of fanatics, ready to kill and be killed, and some set the swiftest. I like this the most, because I like to be anti-chariot. Massive soft attack, massive production growth, but almost no chariots. Well, I will officially even go as far as saying no more chariots in this country. Oh, I can't even bait them, because... Ah, yeah, because they have a river. I have to go for the blue society first. I'm doing an infantry build. I don't know if that's clever. I don't know where I'm going with this. We shall see. Sent a caps gift. How about I sent a gift of uh, blood and steel? Okay, let's go. I don't mind if I don't break them in the beginning. I kind of just want to level right now. Get some nice bonuses. Okay, we're taking these guys. I'm making people be refugees, but they're not coming to me. That's actually a great fucking system. I couldn't even see this in real Hoi 4. The refugee system where manpower moves and stuff. I mean, Marconi explained to me that Victoria uh, 2 has that, right? In Victoria, a war that has refugees and shit. That's uh, really interesting, I feel like. What he's talking about is when I was mentioning immigrants to him and how, like, when a country is occupied in Victoria 2, it loses people because of war exhaustion, so immigrants go to another country. Basically, they're refugees. Yeah. Have you been to good neighbor? Have you have you been to good neighbor recently? What? What, what are you talking about? First time in good neighbor. <clears throat> it's a Fallout reference. Hey, Chad. Have you done missionary lately? See, that's a meme that you, the non-subs, don't understand. We can all do the same. I got a lot of equipment from them, damn. I probably have to now occupy them? How does that work? I got Butcher Pete and the Chop Shop at home now. And Castra Sorum can level up. I have to click that myself? They have four? This is so cool, man. How will I level up? I don't understand. Begin... Wait, I'm creating a new trade route? You need more PP than 40. This is so crazy, man. What? I am loving this, man. I think this is really good. Like, imagine you have, like, a really a real production team that's paid, that gets money. Create a mod, man. You can create a literal new game. Like, this is a new game, right? This is this is a Fallout 4 strategy game. You could literally take out the Hoi 4 aspect. This is a general Hoi 4 strategy game. Uh, uh, uh so, sorry. Fallout strategy game. I still don't understand. Like, can I make a new trade route or something? Yo, look, look, look. I changed the trade note and now it makes $11 and not 4 anymore. I like how they have actually um, models in this game. That is... So far, I'm just heavily impressed by this. This is just really good. How would you use the Navy? Does it mean, like, Strike Force on the River or what? Yes, it would mean Strike Force on the River. That's kind of cool. Like, River Warfare. That's something Hoi 4 has never really uh, looked into. Makes sense, but... It should be easy peasy, man. Yeah. Yeah, the legendary Guatemala tactic. I don't want to kill them too quick. I still want to get some XP, right? Take it slow, man. Really get some leveling done. No stress. I'm building up my city. My city is becoming... What I also like about this mod is you, you really invest in the city. You build a marketplace and you build a node and, and stuff like that. Even though I'm too dumb to get it, but... This is epic, man. Okay, I got this guy. I probably should be careful because if I need a lot of police for this stuff, right? 
Holy crap, what is this? It looks amazing. It's even moving. But we arrived, the tribes, advanced technology, automated defenders, and marvelous irrigation system weren't even the most amazing thing. It was her, the woman, the shamans led us to Diana. A beautiful, terrifying figure larger than any creature in the wasteland with a majestic voice that carried through the chamber effortlessly. Oh, she's real? I am just met this woman? Diana was stern with Lanius, a being of light that apart from the world and its draws. Diana, with the curse of two hours, questioned the purpose of the Legion and its goals. She seemed to float above the Legion and its dreams and Caesar's synthesis. What was Caesar but another of the tribal leaders? What would make Caesar unique from any of the other armies that were the dust of the world? But what made Lanius convince Caesar would create it? And where will Lanius be? This starts to sound like she wants me to fight Caesar. She will near her closing arguments attempting to present an offer to Lanius, saying that she could help to remake Lanius into something better and that he and her could work together to end Caesar and rebuild the Legion from the... We all know what happens when you simp on the stream, right? Shout out to the Queen of the Eastern Kingdom, Benalot. I enter a secret pact with the honor after Lanius' conquest of New Mexico, her real ally, with the twin mothers and betray Caesar. Who is the twin mother? That sounds so cool. Is that like a giant woman? Holy crap! She's moving. So far, I feel like from, of all the mods I played so far in Tommy Reviews Mods, the new TV show on Tommy K Life, man, where he plays mods, epic content. This seems to be the most advanced mod in terms of how far can we go with Hoi 4. What I see in this mod feels to me so far as the most ambitious project I've seen. I think with each mod I will play two or three nations. Like I'm gonna stay with this mod for the rest of the week. I'm gonna play like I wanna play the NCAR maybe or the Brotherhood. I don't know. We'll see. And after three games I'm gonna make my own personal opinion. I'm gonna see what you guys have for an opinion and then we're gonna rate the mod. That's for sure. Okay let's take these guys down. My army is pretty pretty good. I need to focus real quick before I go in. I lost. Oh, I lost my focus tree. Oh, I lost the rest of my focus tree and now it's replaced with the the woman. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know you can do that. Ouch. I need to really force some nations, man. Achie There's achievements? Shut up. Shut up. Shut, shut, shut. Fuck this shit, bro. Ah! You guys know I'm an achievement guy. Wow. Wow. Kaiser Ike, do that. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. I'm not gonna do that. Don't worry, I'm not doing this. But you can make achievements in Hoi for modding? Are you completely out of your mind? I generally say this right here. I don't think it'll ever happen. But if Kaiser Ike ever makes an achievement system, I will do all of them. Garrett, I guarantee that. I'm not gonna do it here because I'm not a follow guy, but wow. Now, the final war is the change of seasons, the Summer Federation, and then I'm gonna backstab the Legion. I don't know if I can actually kill the Legion. I don't feel strong enough, but this twin god girl is gonna help me. And here is the final war. I don't know if I can beat the Legion, man. They seem kind of big. Oh, 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 there's stuff down here? Oh, what? If I'm being honest, and I look away of the fact that I don't understand this lore. If I'm honest, this is maybe so far the best mod I've ever played. Okay, I took all my missions. Take a look at the focus tree, and then I have to fight the Legion. There's so many unique technologies. The Black Flag Frigate. Personal Floating Palace. This is just so fucking cool, man. Would you like base Hoi 4 to be complex like this? Yes! Hoi 4 like this would be Hearts of Iron 5 in a way. If you think about it. And I hope I can take this guys down. Let's go. Two to the Kaiser. Let's go. And let's take these guys down. And then the great betrayal is gonna happen. I just got... Oh. And something I don't understand about this, but there's so much different equipment, which is beautiful. Beautiful. But I'm a bit of an idiot and I very often don't understand. You're giving me a special type of pistol. Is that just is that just basic infantry equipment? Is it is it a fire team weapon? What the mod is doing though, unlike like Teen O or Iron Curtain, I wanna learn this. There's some mods where I, I don't want to learn. Here I want to learn. I still have time. You have a timeline, right? Which I love. I think that's really cool. Which is down here. I still have 1.2k days before I'm in trouble. So let's build up right now. Let's go speed five. I know you guys hate when I build up. Uh, I'm just gonna build up the country right now, because going toward the Empire is probably not so easy. Let's get the nine scrap metal. Let's do some little bonuses on the side and then we really fight the Empire. I'm not gonna do my final thing. Let's get support bonuses, legionary instructors. And here we go. Caesar was just a stepping stone for me and my conquest. Now with Diana, I have someone even better. A stronger wasteland, a stronger world. 80 days, the final focus. You can literally make a canoe. Destroyer longboat. Riverboat. 
No. Can you? <laughs> ah, this is great, man. Uh, what, are, what is the biggest city in Fallout? Is it... What is New Vegas? So, what level is New Vegas known? Level 8. And you have, like, a city, even. I don't think I can beat the Empire. I really want to... What? I, I guess I unlock a new focus tree? Holy crap, man. This is so good, man. Lanius gets free attack, free logistics, free planning, and free defense. Wow. Now, click on Hoover Dam? Click on Hoover Dam. I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask. When the time comes, I'm gonna ask. I guess all these nations are fighting for Hoover Dam because Hoover Dam gives you infinite energy in this lore, I guess. The nation could not even cross to Colorado. Oh, they tried to kill Hoover Dam. Ah, the Hoover Dam also keeps out the Legion. The best point to attack them is when the second Hoover Dam war starts. Maybe you're right. Let me, uh, let me just build up right now. We're building up, and when the second Hoover Dam invasion starts, we might do something. The Legend of Arbela. So I'm just making my Field Marshal get insane stats right now. He just got level 8 attack. The followers of the Apocalypse can settle my land. They are a group that will allow us to use special powerful decisions to gain certain benefits. The followers of the Apocalypse are allowed to live inside of me. Okay, I'm giving them bases and I squat their caravans. They're pacifists? What? They're anti-war? Okay, let's kill them. And I have to go to war with the boy. So, so there's two bridges. I fight him over, man. He has a lot of army. I think there's only two openings. You think 24 divisions is enough? I don't know about that. I have temporary bonuses, though. I think what I am good at is my air. I think my air is going to be very, very strong. I have massive air, man. And the, the doctrines are... Look at the doctrines, man. My air is fucking mental, dude. Uh, you only have one airport, which is... Didn't I used to have an airport? Wait, I don't have an airport? That's so realistic. I love that. I don't have an airport, man. I think that's really cool. Let's make a level 3 airport here. Integrate it, integrate it. Second, uh, second battle of Hoover Dam. Here we go. This is this is the time. I'm in. I'm in. I now unlock the focus tree for war. And let's go. Yeah, looks good. Oh, I need to do air. I need to do air. 50 gliders. <laughs> Fucking people just using gliders and shit. And 50 cast even. Hey. And I'm already... No, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Give it time. Give it time. Pushing to the city. So he's getting killed by the west. I'm taking his east. I wonder what happens then. Oh, they're actually pushing me out. They have too much. They have crazy air. I have green air. What the fuck, man? Come on, stop getting pushed out, man. I mean, just keep him busy. They're getting killed by the west. Yeah, I'm breaking through the north, though, fully. Man, these guys are have a pretty big army, man. Marconi here again, and I guess we got another narration. Who in about a video? What a special occasion. But yeah, basically, I'm here to just explain what happened. The Twitch stream, aka the VOD, was muted at the end, so I couldn't use any of the audio, aka Tommy talking about the game. So I'm here to explain what happened. He basically lost the game. He started to lose territory slowly, and then the Legion attacked him from the back. He basically just died and quit the game, and now he's going to be starting a new one. So I'll send it back to him. Let's try to bring back normal America. We're playing the Enclave. Cringe, cringe. Sergeant Dornan, respected sergeant. Let's go, man. Let's fucking go. A mod just for this nation, man. I am the Enclave. 